Hello and welcome to today's show. We are here joined with Dirk. Dirk, how are you? I'm very well. How are you, Michael? I'm very good. Are you in, are you excited, nervous, anxious? No, I'm, ve I'm very excited. I've never done any video recording before, so uh, this is uh, the first for me. But uh, yeah, you have to nowadays with all the restriction and lockdown, you have to try everything, don't you? Really? This so, is exactly it. It's about broadening your horizons. So if you haven't <laughs> seen the show before, there is uh, one rule to the show, and that's that yeah. I set a ten-minute timer. And at the end of the yeah. 10 minutes, whatever we're talking about, that's it. Over. It's done. How does that sound? That sounds absolutely fine. Yeah, perfect. Good stuff. Are you ready for me to start the timer? Yeah, start the timer. Good stuff. Your timer has started. So first of all, Dirk, for those that don't know who you are, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. So my name is Dirk Stromchak. I am a financial planner. Um, I've set up a business about three years ago. SRG Wealth Management, and I'm part of St. James's Place Wealth Management Group. Um, yeah, I've um, uh, originally I come from Germany, uh, so maybe some people can so like uh, hear that from my accent. I was going to uh, say you don't sound Welsh at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably the name as well. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, so I've uh, I've moved to the UK uh, courtesy of my wife. Uh, Belinda and she, uh, um, she comes from the lakes, so she was born in Kendall, and nice. quite a lot of family around here, and uh, yeah, so we've uh, decided to, uh, to move over to the UK in um, 2001, and um, yeah, so it's, uh, I can say I'm already anglified, and I think part of oh, my parents as well, because every time they come over, we have to go to uh, Park Aid and get some fish and chips. <laughs> and, and an ice cream as well. You have to make sure you have an ice cream. Ah, uh, Nicholas ice cream. Yeah, you have to you have to go for that as well. So, uh, but yeah, so it's yeah, it's been I've been here like for many many years, and uh, all my life I I work in finance. So, uh, um, and as I said like three years ago, I, I had the opportunity to set up my own business, something which I've never done before. I always was employed, um, and um, yeah, it's been it's. Been a, it's been a fantastic journey, really, for me personally. Obviously, the last few months have been like probably like the, for yourself and for a lot of other businesses as well. Um, have been really um, uh, demanding on a lot of people, and uh, so yeah, so it's been it's been challenging. But again, you know, um, not many people use Zoom or or, or Microsoft Teams or any other uh, systems before, and I can see with my two girls they. They use it like every day for their school. They're using Google Meets now. And so um, you just adapt to everything, don't you, really? And I think that's a really good thing. So um, as I said, I mean, I haven't done any sort of like video recording before. Uh, but um, yeah, it's I said like all the Zoom calls, I've been in touch with all my clients, uh, had to have meetings with new clients, um, and trying to sort of like use all the... Um, uh, the tools in the box effectively to to serve everyone and to educate people that's i think mm. financial is all about education really um there's a lot of things i think that uh nowadays you don't be really are taught in school anymore and so people in school or leaving university don't really know a lot of stuff about you know uh, how to get on the property ladder or how to save money or uh, and if they're sort of like starting a job there's so many things people are not really aware of. And I think that's, that's a part of, I think, my role, really, to make sure that people um, uh, know exactly and, uh, what they do and, um, yeah, help them along the way. And hopefully I can make them a little bit more money uh, along the way. And, um, and that's it, really, yeah. So have you always been in finance? Have you always done that kind of work? Or is this something that you've kind of found later on in life? No, I, I, I mean, I started, and this is the thing is that nowadays over here, you, you find that uh, a lot of companies offer apprenticeships, but uh, over in Germany, uh, apprenticeships was a, a really big thing. So after school, I did apprenticeship in a, in a bank, and um, uh, following that, I worked there for a few years uh, in the area of financial planning. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, and it's funny, like my parents, I mean, my, my dad is a plumber, and uh, uh, my mum was a hairdresser, so it's very much like, um, you know, it's not really um, 
an area I think none of my so like parents or grandparents was involved in. Um, but uh, I always, you know, was um, you know, helping people like my my auntie, my uncle. I went shopping for them, and they always got some pocket money for it. So it started off, you know, putting putting money to the side. You wanted to have some new clothes, and and that's how, how I so like always was always interested in that. And um, when I then decided with my wife to to move over to the UK. Um, I was then basically uh, worked in investment banking, and my previous role to uh, the company I, I have now was uh, more fund management. So they were slightly different uh, in a way of uh, servicing clients uh, and having different products. But uh, what I always like is it's just um, the fact that uh, you can share your knowledge with people um, and um, and helping them make a more informed decision. So. You know, there's so much information out there, which, and I think you probably agree, uh, the whole financial sector, it's full of jargon. So when you open up uh, the Financial Times or, or any other paper, the econo uh, Economist or um, any other paper, I think they're always trying to make it really as simple as possible. Mm. But if you're not really in that area uh, of expertise, it's very difficult sometimes to understand or what my allowance is, where do I have to pay tax, is that more tax efficient? And this is, I think, where I even come in and, and help people. I suppose also it's uh, a, lot, a lot of people put their head in the sand when it comes to finances. I know I do, um, but it must be quite nice to be able to explain things to people in bite-sized chunks and kind yeah. of break things down for them. And then they turn around and go, wow, actually, I have more clarity now with my finances. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when you think um, people who are maybe starting their first job and usually, you know, they get a certain amount of pay and there's usually certain other benefits involved in that. So maybe after a probation period, they are signed up for a pension plan. Mm. And uh, a lot of companies have got access, obviously, to um, certain systems and certain uh, providers. And so they set up a pension plan and, and usually what then happens is the employee um, will receive a, a logging detail. Uh, they are told how much money is invested, and and that's it. So people then really still don't know much about um, what funds they choose, what the risks that they, they want to take yeah. to invest money. And also when when you then um, um, you know if if you're going to say uh, to your em employee, oh, you know we're going to put a hundred pounds for you away or two hundred pounds a month for you away. Um, that doesn't really mean anything. You know, if, you, if you're sort of like in your 20s or even 30s, um, full on university uh, or full on apprenticeship, you sort of like then think, well, what's 200 pounds a month yeah. in 30 years' time? You don't really know. And I know that a lot of companies out there have got so many calculators, or pension calculators, tax calculators. But again, we just, um, when you type in the details, they're not that clear cut. And so again, it's like, okay, well, if I continue saving, that's fine. I might have 150,000, 200,000 in my bank or in, in a plan in, you know, when I'm 65 or 70 or 60, et cetera. But that, that again, how much money can I actually take out to, you know, so that the money actually lasts. And I think that's the next thing. And then the third one is again, is because it's so far ahead, a lot of people think, well, you know, I can start planning 20 years before I retire. How do I know when I retire? I might just pass away in, in five years' time. How do I know? Yeah. And I, uh, uh, it all gets so complicated for a lot of people. Uh, and the next thing I think as well, when you have, especially with families as well, there's obviously a, a big pressure, you know, there's high costs involved uh, in, you know, in raising your family, you know, there's obviously all the household bills and et cetera all need to be paid. So a lot of people then are very careful about Oh, can I actually afford putting another fifty pounds away? Exactly. Well, yeah, I'd rather have the fifty pounds in my bank account so I can go on holiday. You know, there's always these sort of like things you have to weigh off, and I think sometimes I find is that it's worthwhile. You know, having a chat with someone um, uh, who's who understands you know how markets uh, how markets work, who understands. Uh, um, you know, if you make a decision on oh, I, I'm going to save fifty pounds now, what? The likelihood is what you're going to get out in 10, 20, or whatever years' time. Mm. And, I think, um, I think a lot it. of people live in the moment, though, don't they? 
I think they do, and, 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 and you know, rightly so. Uh, I mean, when you think about this now, we had a unprecedented times now with uh, the lockdown, and it's starting to sort of like ease off, but it's always this sort of like thing behind your head, probably thinking, well, what if there's another second wave? What, what are we going to do then? You know, what if there's another lockdown? And, um, you know, will I have enough money? You know, I mean, yeah. great the government over here um, introduced this furloughing system, which has been brilliant because I think a lot of people um, got this as a lifeline because otherwise it probably would have been already um, un unemployed, you know. And mm. it's, it's, it is quite scary, isn't it, really? How have you found embracing video during this time? Is it, was it something that you were doing before uh, or were you just seeing clients face-to-face? -face? How has video changed um, the way you do business? I, th I think um, it's actually tra transformed. Oh, there's your 10 minute time, we're gone. Oh. Honestly, I didn't speed yeah. it up or anything. That was 10 minutes. Yeah, I know. It's, 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 uh, it's mad, isn't it? <laughs> you know, and there, and there was a genuinely good question asked to you about video yeah. and we ran out of time. But that is the rules. That's the rule. Yeah, that's I'm, a, I'm pretty sure anybody watching the episode will be more than happy to come and find you and, and ask you yeah. some, some more questions because I feel like we didn't even scratch the surface. How did you find the episode? No, I think, I think it's brilliant. And again, you know, you, you see for yourself, when, when you really want to think about uh, planning for certain things, even if it's for a holiday, you're not going to do that in five minutes, are you? Or even 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes is great, but you always want to really then think about all the other things. If you exactly. buy yeah, I know that you bought a, a camper van. I did, and uh, we didn't even get a chance to talk about that no, either. No, we didn't have a chance. You know, I think you need to extend your uh, <laughs> your time. But when, when, even when you think you bought a camper van, you know, you, you probably don't think, well, okay, well, there's diesel, there's petrol. Um, you know, yeah. what, if there's like all the other uh, bits and pieces you have to think about, um, uh, yeah, and then you only make a decision probably after. Researching it probably for a few months, aren't you, really? So, well, yeah. this is it. This is it. Well, Dirk, I think we're going to have to invite you back on the show again because I just feel like there's so much more we need to talk about. Yeah, that'd be good. I mean, let me know whenever you, you've got time. Uh, I'll be there. That's fine. Perfect. Stuff. Did, did you enjoy the show then? No, I, I thought it was really good. And I think it's a, it's a fantastic platform, really, for people like myself or like all other business owners. You have a quick chat. Uh, you know, you're an absolute natural and a professional as well. Thank you. We're definitely going over this 10 minutes here now, aren't we? <laughs> so I'm just going to say to anybody that wants to watch any previous episodes, you can head over to youtube.com forward slash take the cape pro. If you would like to see any of the latest episodes, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.